Hi guys and welcome to today's video. The topic for today is acrylic painting with the techniques wet on wet, wet on dry, and dry brushing. And also a little bit of glazing and impasto explanation. The materials that you're going to need are your prepared canvas with your drawing on it, a palette, your acrylic paints, various paint brushes, and a pencil and eraser possibly if you're going to need it. All right, let's get on with the painting. All right, so the first technique that we're going to be dealing with today is going to be the wet on wet technique. Basically what this means is that you are applying wet paint to a wet canvas. So you want to try and soak your canvas with water because we are working with acrylic paint and acrylic paint is water soluble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just laying down a, a color, this blue color here. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to blend in my other color, my top color up here into the bottom color. What the wet on wet technique helps me do is that it creates a seamless blend. Now you want to use this with most, mostly painterly paintings or with backgrounds. Any place that you really need to have the blending be incredibly smooth. This is not for detailed work. Definitely not. As you can see here, I'm, cre I'm creating a pretty seamless uh, gradation between the darker color and the lighter color on the bottom. And again, this is due to the wet on wet technique. I can go in and start to put in my lighter colors. Let's blow in this a little bit here. And as you can see, you can achieve a pretty smooth gradation. Whereas if I were using dry brushing or wet on dry even, you could not achieve this look. The advantage this has is that your control is pretty, it's not as good but you're focusing more on the painterly quality of the paint itself and allowing the painting to be a painting. You're not trying to replicate fine strokes with this. You're giving an impression of a color or a scene. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. With the next, we will be focusing on wet, on dry, and I will be continuing this painting from here on. Okay, the second technique that we're going to be talking about is going to be wet on dry. And what the difference between wet on dry and wet on wet is, is the fact that we're layering wet paint on top of a dry canvas. This is the canvas that we applied the wet on wet technique to earlier. What you can achieve with wet on dry is multiple layers. If you think about it in terms of Photoshop, you have multiple transparent layers that you can put right on top of one another. And the wet on dry allows you to do this. With acrylic paint, it dries fairly rapidly. So you can achieve many layers on a single painting within a few, just even a few minutes time. With wet on dry, what you can achieve is what's known as glazing. And glazing is multiple thin layers of paint on top of each other with it, it creates almost a luminescent quality to the paint. Uh, one famous artist that did this throughout all of his works was Rembrandt. And you could see in each one of the figures that each of, the, each of them almost had an internal glow. And with this, 
you're not going to achieve the same type of blending that you did with wet on wet but with the multiple thin applications of the paint with glazing you can achieve almost a faux or pseudo pseudo blending you, now you're going to need plenty plenty of water if you're going to be glazing and you cannot think of painting in the same way or you actually can't approach painting the same way that you do with pencils because your brush and your pencil are just it, it's like comparing apples and pears or apples and oranges it's just not the same thing they have similar qualities but ultimately they're completely different things See, now that right there was too thick. The paint application was too opaque, was not transparent enough. The last technique that we're going to talk about is dry brushing. This is where you're taking a paintbrush and you're loading it up with paint and you're just, you're just brushing with it. It's, there's nothing really to it. It's almost like working with impasto. Impasto is an Italian term that means mixture or dough. An artist famous for this technique is Vincent van Gogh. And what he did was that he layered up a, a good amount of paint right on top of each other and this created a so let's see here. We're gonna go in and we're going to start dry brushing. You can get a lot of highlights with, with dry brushing. And as you see from the first video to this video, I'm working with smaller and smaller brushes. Each technique has its own advantages and disadvantages. The disadvantage of dry brushing is that you can't create too much blending. It just kind of goes against the nature of dry brushing itself. It does create a lot of texture though. So being able to recognize where you need to use each one of the techniques and where it's best to use each one, kind of just, it's up to the artist. As you may feel more comfortable working with one technique over another, or less, you know, less comfortable with one than a different one. getting more into blazing now versus dry brushing. The more more paint you have on your palette or on your um, paintbrush, the closer you are going to be to dry brushing. With less water and more paint, it's dry brushing. With less paint and more water, it's glazing or wet on dry. You can kind of mix these two up and achieve a desired effect. That's what I'm doing right here. Or you can go from wet to wet to wet to dry and then to dry brushing. But again, it's all up to you and how you want to work. It just takes time and effort and seeing what feels more comfortable with you. All right, that's the end of uh, the acrylic painting.